What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Uh, this is a tutorial video on the Square Terminal on how to allow tips. It's really simple. Make sure you're up to date first of all. Uh, click on help, check for updates. If you're up to date, um, all the way up top where it says Square Terminal, click on Manage Square Terminals. And uh, if you look right here, it says allow tipping is now. So by default, uh, the tipping, the tips is now, allowing tipping is now. Just click on it and just allow and click on save. And just like that, now after the customer checkout, it will give him the option to allow tipping. Um, let's just uh, show you how that work. Uh, selecting customer real quick. I'm gonna make that amount really small, so I'll just say and give a discount 35. So our, our total is 247. I'm gonna click on authorize, and then when we click on pay invoice, let me show you. This is the score terminal right here. I'm just we're gonna click on card. You have the charge credit card fee, or click continue. And so the way it works basically is score terminal will load up automatically, just like checking out a uh, Best Buy basically. <clears throat> so we're gonna check out. So it's gonna show 247. There's no tip or anything right now. He's gonna use his card or his phone. I'm just gonna use my phone. And, and after the screen, it's gonna show the options. I know you cannot read them, but let me show you, give you the options. It's gonna say 15%, 20%, 25%, or custom or no tip. If you click on custom, you can say, let's say, $1. Add. And approved, that's it. And then you can print the receipt. And VIP shop man, it's already ready to print the receipt. But let's look at the receipt right here. Of course, all right, um, you cannot see it. But the regardless, it's gonna say uh, VIP invoice 247, and then there, there's a tip, additional tip. So uh, let's look at it from VIP right here. So on VIP invoice, it's going to say visa authorization code and all this, but 247 is not going to show the tip. Uh, we cannot track the tip. The only way to track the tips is by using squareup.com. So if you log into SquareUp, they, they're calculating the tips. So you can have all the reports. So you can uh, uh, divide the tips between your employees. Um, anyway, that's it for today. I appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, thanks for watching.